Donald Trump's comments on Kamala Harris and the potential fallout of her presidency hinge on core conservative issues, border security, law enforcement, and safeguarding individual rights, particularly gun ownership. He frames uncontrolled immigration as an immediate threat to the nation's economic health, security, and cultural identity. His claim that 40 to 50 million illegal immigrants would invade the U.S. under Harris amplifies concerns about the strain mass immigration could place on public resources, job availability, and wages. A vote for Kamala Harris means 40 or 50 million more illegal aliens will invade across our borders, stealing your money, stealing your job, stealing your life. It means your police forces will be gutted. Your guns will be confiscated and savage criminals will run wild in the streets. So that's what it means. You know what? That's what it means. You know, she's always said we will confiscate all guns. Now she's saying, oh, no guns. Are, I think they're wonderful, right? Doesn't work that way. They're going to confiscate your guns. I'm the one that's protecting it. We, you know, we got the total endorsement of every gun group, including the NRA. And, and we have protected your Second Amendment. And if you think it was easy, it was not easy. If Kamala Harris is reelected, she will kill the American dream forever. She's not competent to be president either, but, I, you know, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude. She's not competent to be president. Did you see her on Oprah? That's not going to be. Trump's warning that Kamala Harris would confiscate firearms strikes directly at the heart of Second Amendment debates, feeding into the fears of gun rights advocates who worry that Democratic policies may erode constitutional freedoms. By asserting that only he has defended the Second Amendment and claiming Harris would undermine law enforcement, Trump taps into broader public unease about crime and safety in the wake of progressive reforms. His remarks portray him as a protector of American values, personal liberty, and the American dream itself, framing Harris's immigration policies as a direct attack on your money, your job, your life. Trump suggests her presidency would inflict profound harm on ordinary citizens. His rhetoric stokes fears of economic instability, the erosion of personal freedom, and a weakening of security, triggering a strong emotional reaction. This emotional pull heightens the desire for control and protection, feeding into the broader narrative that strong, decisive leadership is necessary to preserve the country's economic and cultural foundations. In this way, Trump's language fosters the perception that only he can ensure safety and stability, reinforcing the belief that leadership should reflect these fundamental values.